Welcome, and follow me as a Realme GT6, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, before I get started uh, with the actual bypass, I'm gonna uh, start off by saying what we all need. So number one, we all need internet connection, which is the lesser thing that we need. And number two is going to be the harder one to come by, which is a secondary phone that has Google Play Store uh, on it. So access to it. So obviously that excludes any kind of iPhones. Um, now also, uh, idiotically, it also will exclude phones like Oppo, I think, or other real enemies because the application that we use for some reason gives me crap that it doesn't want to open up on its own. Like, I don't know what it was. But I was trying to do the same thing for the Oppo phone using Realme and downloading the Oppo phone clone, which is basically what these phones use uh, to for like data transfer. It just didn't want to work. Uh, so I will be using a Samsung for this uh, as my second phone. And like I said, it only needs access to Play Store and that's about it. Now getting started with this phone, you can see it is locked. It's telling me to draw the verification pattern or I can close this and it will force me to sign in with my previously used Google account. Now we are assuming that we know either one of those. So <clears throat> to get started, you want to navigate to the Wi-Fi page Connect to your network. Oh boy, something is in my throat. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Hopefully it won't bug me for the rest of the video. So anyway, connect to your Wi-Fi network and then you want to select on the, the eye icon. And in here, you will once you actually connect to your network, you will have the share options. So I'm going to hover my hand over the screen as it does show QR code along with the password for the connected network. So I don't want to actually like, you know, show that off. So I'm going to put my hand over it, top. And under here you have top to use quick share. I'm going to select that. We're going to select continue. There we go. Next, we're going to click on the three dots and navigate to settings. And in the settings, you want to select learn more about quick share. In here, click on the three dots again and choose Share Article and then select Chrome. Click to use without an, uh, without an account. Now this closes it up uh, for the first time. We're going to repeat this process so again. Share Article, Chrome, no thanks. And as you can see, it stays open now. Now in the search bar, you want to navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. And in here, scroll down and find settings, like this one. Click on it, and then navigate to home screen lock screen, and then home screen layout. And this glitches out and opens up our home screen. Now, uh, I'm gonna quickly mention one thing. Uh, we have just glitched into the home screen. We are still in uh, what the device would consider setup state. So th for the de device's purposes, this is a setup screen. Uh, and it doesn't really differentiate that from anything else. The reason I'm mentioning that is because we will later on be resetting this device uh, by just going to the settings to finish off the bypass. Uh, and there is a big difference. We could technically go into the settings right now and do a reset, but it wouldn't work uh, because the device is still considering that it's in the setup state. Uh, and therefore, if you reset it, it basically looks at it. We're in the setup state. The device isn't verified. Well, I will reset it, but I will not unlock it. Uh, but later on, once we finish up the setup and do our reset through settings, it will consider the device verified. Don't need to check or not verified. Device set up, so I don't need to check if it's locked because it shouldn't be if it's already set up. So set it, uh, reset through settings, that's fine. I'll do it. I will remove everything from a device as you want. So I just wanted to kind of like explain that uh, how the device works because we will be going through some couple places where we could have done something earlier. And there is a reason to this madness why are we not doing this earlier. So anyway, from here, we're going to swipe to the left and then close this. Click on this little folder icon with tools and you want to open up clone phone. Select that this is a new device and select allow, allow other Android, and it generates a QR code. So this phone is now prepped for bypass. Next, we're going to be grabbing our second phone that we have access to with Play Store. And I am going to go into Play Store right here. Search for 
phone clone. I'm looking for the Oppo one. I will select uninstall as I have already installed it. So I want to have the same kind of experience as you might have. So that's why I'm installing it, uninstalling it and reinstalling it as it will reset all the permissions. So once it's installed, open it up. And here we're going to select agree and continue. Scan QR code. OK. And stupidly enough, you will see the deauthorize button, which is kind of counterproductive. Usually you want to grant uh, authority to something so the phone, for instance, can access contacts, camera, in this case, camera. We have to deauthorize it so we can authorize it. Great logic there. And as you can see, it opens it up and now we can scan that QR code. So hover it over. Again, <laughs> deauthorize. I just can't how stupid that is. And next, we're going to select settings. Now, Samsung does show you the application and like just flashes it so you know what you're supposed to enable. So click on the little checkbox. Obviously, if your phone doesn't do that, just keep on scrolling through the list till you see clone phone. That's always what you're going to be looking for. And then toggle on whatever the switch is. Then go back. Now, it's going to start connecting. And it's going to then select everything. So we're going to deselect everything right here. And we're just going to keep apps on. Next. Again, settings. Toggle on. Go back. Next. And again, it's going to load up applications now. And here we want to deselect them. Click on the text. And then find some application that takes the least amount of space. Uh, so that could be something like the whatever that is. It's 27 megabytes is good enough. I'm not really going to go through and search for anything else. Alternatively, actually, you can enable calculator. Calculator is basically on every phone. And it should be one of the smaller size ones. As you can see, this one is five and a half megabytes. I'm going to select OK. Next. Again, we're going to deauthorize it so we can authorize it. I, I just can't. Uh, and then select start migrating start migrating and it's going to begin the process now because we are transferring something that is uh, five and a half megabytes in size this only takes several seconds and as you can see it's already finished so we're gonna click on done and we can close this and get rid of this device and then uh, check this one so uh, we have moved over one application now if I go down you can see that it technically failed this is normal don't worry this is what you should be expecting and it actually worked so next we're going to select resume and again it says that a successful zero failed one again don't worry about that select done voila we're now on the next page uh, so we're now at the uh, point where you just get to select your screen lock this is after you should you should see this after you verified the phone or the google account or screen lock so now we can just kind of skip this select later next continue Select your gesture uh, or select your navigation style and then choose get started. And as you can see, this allowed us to finish up the setup. So in phone's idea right now, the setup is completed. So you should have already verified this to, to be here, but the phone doesn't really realize that. It kind of like we glitched it to the next page and then we actually finished up the setup. So in phone's perspective, setup is completed. So now last thing that we will do is navigate into the settings again. We can find it there we go settings not everything will probably work as intended as you can see i cannot pull down notifications don't worry about that next uh, scroll all the way down to additional settings and then we're gonna select backup and reset reset phone erase all data erase all data and press on the button erase all data once more this will then go through a fully automatic factory reset of the device and this will take about a minute or so once the reset is finished you will be taken back to the setup screen uh, but at that point you can set up your phone in whatever way you want to as it will be unlocked so this at this point just to again explain the phone's logic uh, when you're doing your reset through settings uh, typically the phone just removes all the data from it that also includes protection as if in the phone's perspective if you're doing it through settings that should mean that you have access to your screen locks and the google account so resetting it shouldn't be a problem as you need it to number one have access to the device, right? Uh, which coincidentally also removes the protection from the old uh, user that would still be, uh, or from the old protection that would have still been on the device, therefore fully unlocking itself. 
Now, uh, I'm not going to go to the reset on this video uh, specifically, and just because it takes uh, extra time and it serves really no purpose after you get started with it, it's fully automatic, and once it's completed, it's just a setup screen. So go through it in whatever way you want. But for people that really want to uh, see me go through this, I will be just recording a reset of the device through settings, so this specific one, and it's going to be a video literally right after this one. So if you really want to see the reset and how it turns out, you can just watch the other video. Now, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.